Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So in this video um, I, I will start talking about um, Vertex AI pipelines and so what are Vertex AI pipelines? Vertex AI pipelines um, are a GCP product and they help you to automate, monitor, govern your machine learning systems right by orchestrating ML workflow in a serverless manner. So what does this mean? Um, in my previous videos, I have already talked about Kubeflow and how you can um, orchestrate your machine learning pipelines or your TFX pipelines with Kubeflow. Now with Kubeflow, you need to set up your own infrastructure. So you need to set up a Kubernetes cluster in order to use Kubeflow. Whereas in AI pipelines, GCP takes care of the infrastructure for you. So you only have to worry about how to optimize your model or how to tune your hyperparameters, you concentrate more on your code than on infrastructure. So that's the difference. But AI pipelines runs Kubeflow under the hood, right? So the difference between AI pipelines is you don't have to manage any infrastructure. And for Kubeflow, you need to set up infrastructure. And it is um, it becomes easier to use the AI pipelines when you you have to attach um, GPU to your infrastructure. If you are using Kubeflow, you have to make sure that the Docker images you are using already has the the libraries that can run your GPU. So so much stuff. You waste a lot of time just setting up infrastructure to run your machine learning models. Right. With Vertex AI, GCP takes care of that for you. And you only have to specify if you want to use a GPU. You only have to specify what type of machine you want to use. And that will just be prov provisioned for you. And the good thing about Vertex AI is you don't need to um, tear down your resources when you finish training. After training is done, that's it. You, you don't need to tear down your resources. Maybe you train and then... You, if you are using Kubeflow, you train, you have to um, delete all your resources. The next day, you have to set up your resources again. After training, you have to delete it. In Vertex AI, you just Google just automatically provision your the service, um, the compute instances for you. And when you are done, it just tears everything down. So you don't really have to worry about that. So yeah, I encourage you to use Vertex AI. So because of that, um. So it's because of this that I'm doing the series just to move away from using Kubeflow and then using Vertex AI pipe pipelines. So we'll be using the example in the, in the Kubeflow videos um, where we developed um, TFX pipeline for salary predictions. We'll just be using those same examples and then we'll translate them into Vertex AI, right? So let's start off um, with writing some code. So I have some imports and some setup, initial setup, because I don't want to go through um, user time to write this. So you can go ahead and then um, do this imports and setup. So here we are setting up our Google application credentials environment variable. We are setting up our cloud region, our project ID, uh, GCP bucket and you should know how to get your project ID in GCP. Um, this is our pi the pipeline name that we have given, a timestamp so that each pipeline run will be different. Um, we have the pipeline root because when you run the pipeline it will, div uh, it will generate a lot of artifacts so it needs storage to store those artifacts or those data that that pipeline is generating. So that's the pipeline root. The model root, um, at some point in our pipeline, we'll be writing our training uh, model. And that will be a separate Python file. Our transformation model will also be a separate Python file. So the model root is where those training and transformation Python files will live. The data root is where our data will be found. And then when we deploy the pipeline, this will be the name of the pipeline, right? So I'll go ahead and run this. And then to use um, 
TFX and Kubeflow, we need to install certain components. Now I have already, I already have TFX and Kubeflow on my computer. So I'm not going to run this again, but you can go ahead and then run this on your computer. And then after that, make sure that it has been installed. Now, after, so after writing, so don't worry, I'll put uh, this in the GitHub repo and then you can go ahead and then copy it if you do not want to write um, this yourself. The next thing we'll do is we will create a pipeline and then this step would come later when we are in the, um, the training or the data transformation stage. So we'll create a pipeline, we'll run our pipeline and we'll submit the job to Vertex AI. So as um, in the previous TFX videos. So if you do not know what, then let me go ahead and then TFX components. All right. So, um, so actually, so this is the, the whole TFX pipeline. So the first um, step, right, is data ingestion, right? So with example gen, so we would, ingest our data with example gen, then we we'll generate some statistics, we we'll generate some schema. Um, the schema gen, the example validator will take both the schema gen and then uh, I think example gen. And then um, there will be some transformation somewhere, we can tune the model and train it, and then we can evaluate on our validation data and then push it to some directory that will be served by our serving infrastructure. So that is just the main um, flow of this pipeline. So the, the first thing we are going to start with is example gen. So the first component is example gen. Before we do that, let's take a look at the, the data that we will be using. Um, but before that, I would um, create a bucket. So I will create a bucket that would um, put this data in a GCP storage and then um, our pipeline can make use of it. So I'm going to use ESUtil. If you don't know how to use ESUtil, I'll put a link in the description where you can install um, the Google Cloud and then install Google Cloud and G Cloud and then um, GSU2 components and stuff and then um, be able to use these commands. So make buckets and then Google Cloud region. So at this stage, I expect that you have a fair idea about um, setting up your Google application credentials or setting up your account to use um, GCP services. If you do not know how to do that, there is a link in the description. Please go ahead and watch those videos before you come back to watch this. And then GCS bucket name. And then I would um, GSUtil copy data.csv data root right so um, I'm making a bucket in this L in that's location and then this is the name of the bucket and then I'm copying that data into the bucket so I'm going to and don't forget the backslash here I'm going to run that so it says creating salary prediction um okay let me change the name of the bucket salary prediction pipeline Just too long. Let me name it salary pipeline, right? So this is the bucket name. It's salary um, 
predict salary pipeline that the pipeline name is salary pipeline so I'm going to do that again all right and then I'm going to go to my refresh that all right so um, this is the one we created salary pipeline and obviously it's empty right so um, this is um, our account this is our bucket now so um, let's go ahead and then see what else we have to do so we have created the bucket we have copied our data let's take a look at our data before we um, do anything else. So I'm going to use pandas. And then I'm going to say df.head. PC is a bit slow today. I might need to um, restart or something. Yeah. So um, we are predicting salaries of. Um, so given these features, we want to predict whether um, a user would earn a salary of fifty thousand dollars or more. So if it's fifty thousand dollars or more, the label here will be one. If it's less than fifty thousand dollars, it will be zero. So based on these um, um, features, we want to predict that if a person will earn fifty thousand dollars. So as you can see here, you have someone with a doctorate degree with occupation plus specialty. He's a white male, and he works sixty hours. Uh, um, per week and you can see that he obviously earns more than sixty thousand um, dollars yeah so um, based on these features we just want to do those predictions so let's go ahead and then ingest our data so before we ingest our data we have to create our pipeline right so I'm going to say def create pipeline right and then I'm going to give a pipeline name which is of type string I'm going to say pipeline root which is also of type string so all the variables that we defined earlier will be put into this pipeline. So data root, which is also of type string, and then our model file, which is of type string. We have our endpoint name, which we'll use when we want to deploy the model. We have project ID, which is also of type string. We have our region, which is also of type string. And then when we come to the training, we will, we will use GPUs, right? We will have an option to use a GPU or not. So I'm going to specify that as a Boolean, right? So if it's so true or false. And then this will return a TFX pipeline right right this will return a TFX pipeline but before we let's um, import tensorflow as TF and then from TFX import version 1 as tfx right so let me run that again test 
TensorFlow takes some time to ins um, yeah so we are done with that and then we go to our so what will be in this um, create pipeline so the first thing we have to do is we have to um, so this would be ingest data right so as I said the first is data ingestion with example gen so we have to do that so we'll say example gen is equal to tfx dot components dot csv example gen and then the input base is data roots right so i'm going to save that and then after that we we have some components um, array so that will be components com uh, components and then our first component we'll just put it here so we'll keep adding the rest of our components here and as I said it returns a TFX pipeline so we'll say return tfx.dsl.pipeline and then here we have um, pipeline name this pipeline name we have pipeline roots this pipeline roots and then we have components which is components components right so this is what we return I'm gonna run that we are not going to write our model code now because this is just the first component so um, after writing so now we'll run our pipeline right so i'm going to say pipeline definition file right is equal to pipeline name plus because when we run our pipeline we it will generate some JSON file and you see it in a bit so that JSON file is what will be submitted to AI platform to build our pipeline right and then we specify what our runner is so we are running on vertex AI pipelines but vertex AI uses kubeflow right so we our runner is still kubeflow so tfx.orchestration.experimental dot kubeflow version 2 dark runner and then we specify some configurations right so we specify some configurations so we say config is tfx dot orchestration dot experimental dot kubeflow version 2 dark runner config we are just going to use the default configuration and then we have output file name is pipeline definition file right and then we don't want to return anything anything when we run our runner so say runner dot run and then runner dot run has to run something right so we are running the pipeline function so create pipeline now the pipeline name will be equal to pipeline name pipeline roots 
is equal to pipeline root. Let me just move these here. Pipeline root will be equal to pipeline root. And then, um, what's the next thing? Um, data. So data, data root is equal to data root. Data root. And then we have um, our model file. Currently, we don't have any model file. So we just leave it blank. We have not deployed our model also. So we'll leave that also blank. Project ID is the Google Cloud project. Our region is equal to Google Cloud region. We have not got to training, so use GPU will be false. All right. So this is our um, this is our um, so we are going to run that. Hopefully, when you run it and you go here, you can see that some JSON file has been um, how do I say? It? generated for you right which shows a tfx version and, and some stuff you don't need to worry about this so the next thing to do is we have to submit the pipeline sorry the job to ai platform right so i'm going to say from google.cloud dot google from google dot cloud import ai platform right and then from google from google dot cloud dot ai platform import pipeline jobs and then import login and then we have login dot get logger I want to set the level of my logger to info so that if the pipeline is running you can see um, whatever is going on right login.info and then we are going to um, initiate our platform we are going to initiate our AI platform so AI platform dot init the project is Google Cloud project location is Google Cloud region the job is pipeline jobs dot pipeline job. Then we have template path, which is the pipeline definition file that we have generated. And then our display name, display name is pipeline name right and then we'll say job dot submit no we are not going to run this yet there is something else we need to do when we create um when we are running um vertex ai pipelines as i said it's a serverless environment and it will create um, compute instances for us because Kubernetes is just a uh, compute instances so it will be using the compute um, API right so if I go here and then I look at um, compute engine right it will be using my compute engine API so if you have not enabled compute engine API so I'm just going to go ahead and then use a different account. 
if you have not enabled compute engine API you have to do that right you have to enable that I have used it before so it's enabled but if yours if there's a first time you're using it you have to enable it and then when you do that I want to show you something else you go to I think it's um, service account now compute engine API um, has its own service account which is different from the service account you might be using um, to authenticate right your project so go ahead and let me open this I'm gonna go ahead and then copy this email or this user and then let's go to our bucket cloud storage browser and this is the bucket we are using let me go ahead and delete um, this bucket since we are not using that and then open this bucket that we are using and then when you go to permissions right so um, as you can see editors of um, yeah so when you go to permissions you can see that the compute um, engine um, API right it's not over here like the, the service account the user is not over here so which means that when we build when we run our job the kubernetes cluster that will be created cannot access this packet because the service account is different so you can go back and then let me go back again to um, i um, service account right so um, the service account is who is not does not have access to this um, so the f to this um, bucket so let's just add it I'm going to give it cloud storage storage object admin those full control of GCS bucket and then I'll just save that so as you can see you have the 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 name and then over here I'm also going to add this um, this um, username also so cloud storage storage object right so so because of that now our service accounts have access to um, this um, bucket right um, so let's go ahead and then now we can run this um, job so let's go and then run that so it says creating pipeline pipeline job created and then we can view the pipeline but we can go back to vertex AI also and then pipelines and as you can see our pipeline is running so let's go to our bucket and see if it is generating something so it hasn't generated um, anything yet because I think now it's just um, maybe provisioning some um, the instance so it will take some time to provision the instance as you can see runtime environment is serverless So let's see what happens. So when you click the logs um, tab over here, it says waiting for job to be provisioned. So it's now setting up the 
infrastructure that we need to run this job so let's wait and um, as you can see um, everything completed successfully so we can also expand our artifacts to see um, what was created let's go back a bit so we can see the duration because this is the first time you're running it and also it took a long time to um, build the infrastructure so yeah um, and then you can see our input base so it was um, the GCS packet which had our data our input and output configuration what our splits should be we can see our TF examples also our format is a TF record it's a gzip and then we have train and evaluation data in there right so let's go to our bucket and when we go to our bucket we can see that the pipeline roots folder has been created um, salary pipeline we have the timestamp this is the name of the and then we have some examples so we have a train data set which is this one and then sorry We have our train and then train data and then we have our split right evaluation data so yeah you can see that this is a very long name so um yeah you can go ahead and then shorten it if you want but i'll just leave it um as it is um yeah so this is our um our first component which is done um let's see yeah and mm, I don't think there is anything else I want to show you so actually this is where you can make some mistakes in defining um, all this um, writing so yeah fairly simple go ahead and then see what else you can find in, in um, this um, training and then take a look at the logs and see if there's anything you can find out which is interesting so this is our first component and in the next video we would continue with our next component which is i think statistics um gen right so um keep watching and i will see you in the next video if there is anything i forgot to add i would talk about it in the next video so keep watching